friends, fellow beer geeks. I am Wes, the Craft Beer Geek, and tonight I have a beer for you from Green Flash Brewing out of San Diego, California. This is their Imperial IPA. Comes in at 9.4% alcohol by volume and is sold in this 22-ounce bottle. And yeah, I've just uh, had a few few of these a uh, few Green Flash beers in the past on the show, and I've I've liked several of them. Uh, and I have not had this one before, so I thought I would go ahead and give it a try and let you know what I thought of it. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how much this was. I think it was around $7 for this bomber. Um, somewhere around that area is what it was. Um, so let's just see what, see what we got here. Okay, so this poured out quite a nice amber... Uh, medium amber color, very pretty, very traditional pale ale sort of color here. A little bit, a little bit darker since it is a uh, imperial style. Uh, nice, really white, rocky head. Really tight, nice bubbles on here. Really, really pretty looking beer. Let's see what the aroma is like. Definitely getting a very sweet tropical fruit hoppy aroma. Uh, I'm getting a lot of pineapple in the aroma on here. Um, almost like a mango sort of flavor. Really, really nice hop hop aromas coming off of this beer. So I'm excited to go ahead and give this a taste and let you know what I think. Cheers. Uh, right off the bat, I noticed that this has a much lighter mouthfeel than I expected. It at, at almost 10%, you would expect more of a thicker, stickier kind of beer, and it's and it's awfully light for for that for that uh, amount of alcohol. It's really Really nice and light. Uh, definitely has definitely more of those tropical notes and the flavors as far as from the hops. Um, getting still getting a lot of pineapple. Um, getting some grapefruit. Uh, it's definitely very bitter, so that's helping lend it towards the more the grapefruit sort of flavors there. You know that sort of fruity but bitter sort of flavors. Yeah, that's a, just a really awesome imperial pale ale. Just you know, tons and tons of hops. Really nice flavors, really nice caramel maltiness to it, uh, but it's just all about the hops here. Lots of tropical fruit, lots of bitterness, extreme bitterness. Uh, definitely, if you're a hop head, you're gonna love this beer. Really, really tasty beer. Just wonderful aromas, wonderful looks, wonderful flavors. The alcohol is really well hidden, as I said, that has a nice, a lighter mouthfeel than you would expect from this kind of beer. It's not real sticky and syrupy. It's just a nice uh, sort of medium body to it. And yeah, just some, some really good flavors and really refreshing. Um, even on a hot day, this would be good. Uh, I probably wouldn't want to do anything afterwards after drinking this because it is almost 10% alcohol by volume, but a really tasty pale ale, imperial pale ale. I keep forgetting that it's imperial, you know. It's just, uh, it just drinks more like a regular pale ale. Um, but really, you know, just extremely hoppy, extremely bitter, nice tropical fruit, citrusy sort of flavors. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and give my ranking on this. Um, I, I got to give this a 10 out of 10. I really love this a lot. I definitely will buy this again. It, it really knocked my socks off. It's, it's, I would say it's better than the other Green Flash beers I've had in the past. Uh, really, really impressed me. Uh, it's not, it's not doing it's not doing anything you know out of the ordinary it's not it's not anything different than a pale ale you would expect but it's just it's just a really perfect example of the style and it's just it's it's so refreshing so enjoyable so tasty it's just perfect in every way so i got to give it a 10 for that so I want to thank you for watching another episode of the Craft Beer Geek. If you like this review, you can see more over at craftbeergeek.com. They're all organized there by breweries as well as by beer styles. So if you're looking for a review of a particular beer, maybe you will find it there. And if you would, please use the Amazon link in the uh, on the page there or in the show notes below. That helps us out a lot and won't cost you any extra. So I want to thank you for watching another episode of the Craft Beer Geek. And remember, I don't drink bad beers. You shouldn't either. We'll see you next time. Cheers.